I already told you it was very dangerous to discuss the Swiss military industrial complex, which I did in a series 10 days ago, to show you all how powerful and infiltrated they are everywhere. Well, only 10 days later, I got this letter here saying I have to go to prison on November the 10th for 20 days for telling about Switzerland in my videos and for expressing my opinion about the Swiss lies, crimes and terror on me and my family. Normally I don't even up their terror mail as you can see here. Most of them they are not opened up. I no. So I don't open up their terror mail anymore because after 17 long years of Swiss terror I just can't get my mind around it anymore. My mind totally blocks it out and, I, and even if I try and read it, it just doesn't enter my senses. I can read it 10 times and it doesn't get in, you know. It has me totally traumatized as 17 years of total Swiss Nazi terror. It's just too long to bear for a human being, especially if you haven't done anything wrong and everything based upon Swiss lies and Swiss hatred. And 17 long years of Swiss terror has preoccupied my mind day and night, filling every aspect of my daily life with plain Swiss Nazi terror. Can you imagine? But this time it said Voltuk, meaning prison, on the outside. So I had Gabriel from Spain read it for me. The Swiss are the most wicked people on earth and they really believe in their crimes against humanity. Most crimes people do are out of poverty, heartbreak or human misery. But not these Swiss, they're out to hurt other people just because they feel so or because they don't agree with someone else's opinion or out of a different uh, racial features. It's the same with their lies. There are many different sorts of lies. People lie about or out of fear, to avoid punishment, to gain material wealth in business or to show off out of false pride. But rarely people lie to hurt others and even believe in it and therefore being able to execute their evil in such a refined and organized way under the cover of clean Swiss neutrality. And this sort of lie is the very case in Switzerland. And one of the differences, differences they inhibit in comparison with the rest of us and the rest of humanity. Oh, here it is. I just tried to document it. Uh, complete Swiss liar. Lies. You know, it's complete terror. I haven't been out for three and a half years. I never go out. So they can't grab me, so they're doing it this way, you know. So I have to pay 1300 Swiss francs, otherwise I go to prison for 20 days. Strafmaß, 20 days. For nothing. I didn't do anything. I get aggressed by a cop and then I try to ask help on YouTube and document it. But oh, Swissy doesn't like that, you know. They hide everything under the carpet. So, this is real serious. This is. They are evil people. Very bad. Extremely evil. They have been doing this for. 17 long years every day and night for 17 years you know I've been doing this I've been living under their terror so please try to uh, copy my videos and uh, so we all know what this place is about. So, you know, they try to censor my videos and that's what it is about. And it's, it's only 10 days ago 
that I made that video on um, about the uh, Swiss industrial military complex and how this, you know, they're very, very powerful. In this, money, in this country it's all about money and power. A man or a person is not equal on the law. If you're rich, you know, you can do everything here. So you can see, this is on September 3rd, or September 22nd, it says here. Uh, Mr. Dellenbach. Swiss criminals. The most wicked people on earth. So I'll show you again, it says Monday, November the 10th, 2014. I have to go in, this, this is the torture prison, Regionalgefängnis Bern, Amthaus. This is where they already tortured me. I'm not a criminal, I've never done anything in my life. I'm not a criminal, do you hear me Swissy? I'm not a criminal, but you are. And I've proved it in my videos that you are a bunch of criminals Swissy. Yeah, this is from a lawyer who doesn't do anything. So they sort of pretend to be a civil place, like you know. And this is what they I should have done, you know. It's about here yeah, it says it's about my YouTube videos. Yeah. On YouTube. Hatze Fratz Gure. This is what they don't want. And because of my videos, I go to prison. First I get aggressed and hit and a cop who launched something together and if I dare to talk about it, I go to prison. It says, Strafbefehl, Nazi Switzerland. You see, with a number, September the 17th, it's going on now. What can I do? And this is going on, folks, this is going on for 17 years. So, don't lose my videos, copy them, distribute them, download them, burn them in DVDs, don't make them get lost, because I'm onto something here about the Ku Klux Klan, they don't want me to, from Switzerland, they don't want me to say this, you know, that's why I go to, to prison, yeah, just punch pause, this is the nearest I get. You just have to, you know, take it all, you know, and, and get, have yourself terrorized by the homies here. And don't open your mouth. That's all I did. I let myself hit by the cop. I only open my mouth. I say, I say it's not good that you lie. Here's some more on the other side. This is uh, side number two. It says... So I have to pay the cop two months later. He got killed because he was so dangerous and so aggressive. He got killed in self-defense by a, another Swiss person. And now me, the foreigner, they want to make me responsible for it. And I have to pay 7,000 Swiss francs, 7,400. Because the foreigner is always responsible in Switzerland for everything. Even if a Swiss did it, you know, this is Switzerland, you see. It's always the foreigner responsible for everything. And the guy who shot the cop, well, they murdered him in prison. There was uh, Roger, Roger Funkhauser. They murdered him just before his uh, appeal case. And they don't want any appeal cases here. Then it gets very dangerous. So they want me the foreigner, the immigrant, to make me responsible for the death uh, of their, of, of her husband, you say, Regula Kuni, that's the, the woman, and the, the children. I'm responsible for the death of, of the cop, you see, because I'm a foreigner. That's how it is in Switzerland, you know, and these people are so full of hatred, you know, they don't care a lot you know, about it, that my family and my small young children are being terrorized by them. They only think like, oh, we, the poor Swiss, you know, we are so poor and so neutral and so clean, you know, 
They only think about money and about themselves. And the foreigner has to go to prison. And this lawyer does not do a damn thing. The Swiss are beyond doubt the most wicked people on earth. And they've always gotten away with it so far. So they know they can do what they want. As the Swiss Templars give the orders anyway to their worldwide web of Freemasons of Swiss descent all over the world in all key positions. In fact, we should put warning shields around Switzerland at all border passages saying, you're leaving international laws area. Here we don't abide any human law. So people won't fall for their clean neutrality trap in disguise of this dictatorship wrapped in nice milk chocolate. Yes, Switzerland is a dictatorship wrapped in nice milk chocolate. So in these 20 days prison for expressing my opinion, they will force me to delete my videos. They will constantly interrogate me, threaten me and finally kill me. As the Swiss Nazi police and the fascist judiciary have already announced. I know those Swiss prisons, how they shout, swear, threaten and provoke you without end, letting loose their inhibited natural-born Swiss aggressions when they can and when they're allowed to. Just like in the Second World War with the concentration camps. So please, don't let my efforts be in vain and you all copy, save, download and burn my videos on DVDs. Out of my pain, I served you a face and a name of the real tormentors of mankind. So this is it. This is the end. And I wish you all the best. What can I do? I feel old and broken and I cannot run because I have no passport. I cannot fight because I'm alone and I have a family and children. I can just be dragged to the slaughterhouse like a Jew being exterminated. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let my videos be my ultimate revenge on this Swiss Nazi people. I will curse them. I curse them every single day. For 1300 Swiss francs I could buy myself out of prison. But they know I have no money at all and no income. And even if somebody uh, would pay for me... I re I'd refuse categorically. I showed you the list of people who got murdered and suicided in Swiss prisons. Like they did with Austrian Wolfgang Umfogel, who got suicided for selling CDs about tax fraud. And even his money got confiscated and stolen by the Swiss Nazi authorities. Oh, they love money in Octogon. Money über alles. The sound of money. So first they murdered this man. In two weeks time he wanted to sell banking CDs to Germany, France and the United States because of uh, tax evasion. And the, uh, the Swiss Secret Service, the SSS, they caught him and in only two weeks time he got suicided. And then I wrote this article, I, I, I videotaped it, I put it on YouTube in my channel. So I contacted the biggest uh, Austrian newspaper and they, um, they also said that they, the man got suicided and they wrote his name in it so they sent me an anti-terrorist squad. Um, so now they, that was just a few months ago they even stole his money. 2.5 2 million euros that the German authorities they uh, paid out to Wolfgang Umfogel and they just stole it, you know, the Swiss steal everything. It's the sound of money, it's not the sound of music, there's no music here. So, sort of, I got implicated in this affair because I helped writing the, uh, an article in a foreign newspaper. And then it gets very dangerous, you know, with these Swiss assassins. Oh yes, they're gonna do me, they promised me to kill me. And I have witnesses, they don't even listen to it, and they will do it. So I guess my time is up. Eh? 
This video here shows Hans Rudolf Kuni, who in 2011 aggressed me and under orders lied things together to get me, a foreigner and an immigrant, into prison. So I videotaped the corrupt cop to save the evidence. And the Swiss absolutely want me to take the evidence off the internet, for which they also will put me in prison. And after user Marino Delfino here analyzed the video, it came out the dirty cop had black alien eyes and a UFO backup hovering overhead. So it's obvious that my lens caught something too much, which they want to hide from the public. So they used the Swiss Nazi Justice Department to blackmail me in a highly criminal way and for which I now go to prison for, where they will have total control over me for 20 days and will most likely lie some more things together, as this bloke here did, while I'm inside, uh, like to send me into a psychiatric ward for the rest of my days. And they already tried that. Just as Swiss cop Hans, Hans Rudolf Kuni was a damn corrupt liar. Thank God he's dead now because someone shot the evil cop dead two months after. So here you can see this thing uh, hovering uh, ab above our head. I, I don't know what it is. I didn't see it at the moment. But my lens caught it. The guy, he had absolutely dark eyes. So this is the very first video on my channel, Gatsefrats, or the second, where you can see the original footage. Uh, he has black eyes. This is no uh, Photoshop or anything. We don't do these sort of things. You know, these guys, they Photoshop and, uh, you know, here's my wife, actually. Uh, she, she, was a, she was a witness, and so were my children. And uh, they, the Swiss are a bunch of wicked liars. They lie against humanity and they just lie things together to put an immigrant in prison. And they are so cold and, and heartless uh, and so organized and, and so incredibly organized, you know. Uh, there really is an alien, um, um, an alien agenda here and we can see it and they want to cover this up. And this is why I have to go to prison. So this is on Marino Delfino. Go and have a, go and have a look at it. Um, he's a very good guy. He's from England, and he uh, he did a very good job here. Um, I, I'm very glad to know him, Marino Delfino. Good man. The last three and a half years, I haven't gone out of the house in Switzerland alone anymore, which has taken a very bad impact on my health. Sometimes I didn't didn't go out like for two months. And so they couldn't really get me during this time. So now they just sentence me to prison because of nothing in order to get me where they want me to. So here you can see the evil cop again with the black eyes. And go and have a look at the first video on my channel. He really has these black eyes and there's really a weird thing hovering over, which you can also see in the newspaper article about this, what happened. The Swiss are the most wicked people I know. They are behind the Second World War and the First World War, behind everything, believe me, and the bank, the banking uh, chaos and everything. They did it. So everyone copy the video of the, uh, the corrupt, aggressive alien cop, also the one of uh, Marina Delfino and my first one, and copy my other videos. Don't you know, see to it, they don't get lost. And maybe somebody can help my, uh, my wife and children. Uh, because there's important evidence on it, the video with the cop. These Swiss are not really human and a menace to humanity. And here the images show that evil cop with black alien eyes with a UFO above and Swissy using that 50 francs reptilian money, as you can see here. I have about one month left, maybe, and funny enough, November the 10th is the end of World War I, now celebrated, well, the beginning, uh, 100 years ago. The next day, on the 11th, is the armistice, 
as these guys are into numbers and occult rituals, you know, where they celebrate the death of nine million soldiers and 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 the uh, the Spanish flu coming afterwards with another fifty million dead before going for the final kill. I'll try to make some more videos before the deadline, and if not, don't forget me and make it known what these wicked Swissies did.